Hi, do you guys know what Velvet Revolution is? No. Do you guys know what okay. Velvet Revolution is? No, I do not know what the rev... No. Velvet? Velvet? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Velvet Revolution. Let, 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 like sheep's wool? No, I don't know what Velvet... Hi, you guys. Do you know what the <laughs> Velvet Revolution is? We have no idea, y'all. Does it look like I know no. what it is? Thank you so much. Do you guys know what sure. Velvet Revolution is? No. 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 I don't think so. Who are you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Velvet Revolution was a non-violent revolution that took place in Czechoslovakia during 1989. Two weeks of non-violent demonstrations, which eventually brought back democracy to Czechs after over 40 years of communist rule. Because of its peacefulness, it is named Velvet as the revolution is as smooth as this material. The Velvet Revolution was a success because of its peaceful resolve and the start of a democratic government, which provided economic prosperity to its citizens, as well as the positive changes that occurred for many people. It's nonviolent methods which helped to unite the country for a common cause, created a greater voice for the people of Czechoslovakia. The revolution is started as a simple student ceremony on the 50th anniversary of university students protesting the Nazi occupation to commemorate the death of Jane Uplittle and ended up turning into a full-scale revolution. Many people who had been trying to find a way out of the communist rule immediately joined forces with the university students. Soon, the workers' union and students' groups had the support of almost everyone in Czechoslovakia. Unlike most other revolutions of the time, there is no fighting involved. An example of their attempt was when the protesters offered flowers to the riot police during a standoff. The people's ideas of overthrowing the government spread quickly all over the country, and their goal eventually came true. The president of the Communist Party at the time, Gustav Hazak, sensing complete and total defeat, and finally resigned. There is a song called Velvet Revolution by Tori Amos describes how wonderful it would be if all the wars as peaceful as Velvet Revolution. Radical and caught and purified in my satin But the bomb of the season is a Velvet Revolution I look at the sky Freedom is something that people always fight for, which is exactly what the Czechoslovakia people wanted. This non-violent revolution completely changed the lives of millions of people in a better way. Before the revolution, the freedom of travel was limited under communist rule. Only communists or people who had friends in banks could travel. There were two main reasons. One was political, the other was economic. Most people simply could not afford the prices set by the state. Freedom of travel was a threat to communism because people could bring back information about the West and the success of capitalism, the much higher standard of living. After revolution, Jana Kagnarova, the 25-year-old who lives in Berlin states, I can travel as much as I want. Nowadays in Czech, People can go wherever they want. Their lives is getting so much better. Their 
Here is another example. Her father and a son, Peter Sekoka Sr., was born in Obaba and moved to Prague in August of 1989, three months before the Baba Revolution broke out. He refuses to recall all the bitter memories of the old times. He now owns a hotel in Madness, Moravia. His son, Peter Sekoka Jr., belongs to the generation which was barely touched by the Very lucky, he went to a school in U.S. and now works as a researcher at the Plague Post. Peter Seboka Jr. says the most tremendous change is that people can have dreams. In communist days, they didn't know anything, couldn't imagine what they'd be doing in twenty or thirty years. As we all know, Fabian is from Czech Republic, so let's hear what he thinks about his home country. Thank you so much for letting me do an interview for you. Oh, thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure to share my knowledge about my country with you and your senior sophomore class. My first question is: Do you think Czech Republic gained freedom after Velvet Revolution? Yes, they did. Fortunately enough, after Velvet Revolution, the communists went back to Russia, kind of, and we were able to gain freedom in politics and economy. And other kind of、uh, activities, of course. So yes. Thank you. The second question is: Are you content about your country's current situation? Yes,、um, I am happy with it. Even though I wasn't there for the last two years, I I mean I went there over the summer, so I、um, I can tell something. But I know that our economy we don't have euro right now. Which is very fortunate in these situa in this time,、uh, since Euro Zone and whole European Union is not going not doing very well, so we have the advantage of not sharing the same currency with them. A crown, still, and it probably still will continue until I think they moved it all the way to two thousand sixteen, when、uh, the acceptance should be. But they probably will still keep moving it with how the Europe is going right now. So, yeah, I'm very content with the situation. The politics, even though the politics are not super great, there's a lot of corruption, and there are some problems. But of course, countries always come with a problem. Thank you. There is one more question that I'm very curious of. What do you think about Václav Klaus being the president? I enjoy him as a president. He didn't do anything. Super bad to our country, or he didn't do anything bad to our country at all.、Um, he disapproves. He's how do you call it? He's a、uh, wait. I forgot the name of it. Euro crisis. Euro demo. No. Just doesn't approve the European Union very much, and so he、uh, he also doesn't approve global warming. In general, which many other countries get easily mad about, because on different topics or when they are in Brussels discussing international topics, they or he raised his opinions, and then they don't really agree with him. But he's got a unique voice, and he's standing、uh, behind his opinion. And I can see why that happened.、Um, so yeah, Václav Klaus is a good president, and again, reflecting on our question back. I'm happy that he still didn't, or he continued with a Czech currency, the Czech crown, and not Europe, and not Euro. Thank you so much for your cooperation, Fabian. You're welcome. My pleasure.